and welcome to the Swole Initiative Network! You are watching The Fables of Galia, the correct way to start your weekend, so thank you for being here. Um, we have a couple of people away, um, but uh, we don't have covers on them. I know, I just realized uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but Adeline will be joining us uh, shortly <laughs> throughout when she gets back from work. Um, so, uh, yes, but uh, Stax, uh, Rhapsody, and Diane, uh, Lily both have a ton going on, and so they're taking a little bit of time away. But uh, we're still going to keep rocking and rolling, right? So. Yes, hello, and welcome back. This is, we're, we're running back into a battle, so uh, I'm excited to get going. But first, we're going to talk about some awesome brand partners, starting with the wonderful Norse Foundry. Betty, why don't you take it away? I sure will. Uh, the swole only roll on Norse Foundry Amazing Gemstone and Metal Dice. Uh, and all are featured... I'm sorry, and all of our featured music comes from the free library available on Apple Music and Spotify by the one and only Norse Foundry. You can use the code SWOLE to save 10% at NorseFoundry.com. And the music we're listening to, is it yours? No, just kidding. Not yet. <laughs> okay. The music we listen to sometimes is the one that was curated by our amazing DM here. The Sage's Curse. Yes, Jay. Uh, yes, we listen to it during the game. Yes. Uh, it's a little intense for announcements. Yes. <laughs> but you also have some other things to talk about, right? I do. I was just getting to that. Um, the indom Indomitable Dogmite <laughs> um, supplies all of our luxury tabletop accessories in solid and natural stained woods like you've never seen them before. Mm -hmm. You can go to dogmite.com to see these true champions of creativity, and you can use the code SWOLE to get 15% off of this beautiful, amazing products. You can see the custom tray there that Jay has, and the custom DM screen that he has, all made by Dogmite. Gorgeous, darling. And now including things that you probably can't see, or you can probably just about see, my initiative trackers, which are from, uh, uh, they're one of the add-ons that you can get at, uh, at Dogmite as well. Uh, and these are fantastic. They're see-through, so you just write on the names, you can wipe them off afterwards, and uh, I can still see everything. So that's really cool. Hopefully I won't miss anyone's turns now, because I've never done that before. Uh, what about you, Brent? You have something for us? I do. All right, you guys. It is time to give a special thank you and shout out to our next sponsor of the evening. Say it with me, Griffin Co. All of our 3D printed and custom terrain stuff that you see on our shows is from Griffin Co. If you would like to get in on this awesome action, just go on over to GriffinCo.com and use the promo code SWO22 at checkout and receive 22% off of your order. Indeed. And Paul, why don't you bring us home? All right, as soon as we jump back in the battle, you're going to take a gander at all our fully custom minis from the awesome folks at Hero Forge. Go check them out. They've got so many updates that I can't even keep up with. I mean, you can do anything on it now. Check them out. HeroForge.com. Monthly updates. Monthly. It's crazy. Things. It's just like nonstop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I went, I went for like like a like five or six weeks without creating a new a new mini on hero forge and when i came back there were so many new options i didn't know what i was doing uh, the way that you can paint your minis and color them now and all the different materials and oh my gosh it's crazy if you're on facebook and you follow masters of hero forgery they they know how to use all the glitches to do crazy stuff with hero forge like six Ooh. arms and like they do crazy stuff because they they know how to layer like multiple arms and multiple heads so you can get crazy hairstyles and cra it's crazy masters of hero forge i know it, we need to figure that check out. that not, out not sponsored but super interesting <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, yep. <laughs> yep but hero forge thank you for that. is so yeah thank you for that nugget paul um yes so other things that we have going on um subscriptions we like them 
uh, they they pay for things for us to keep creating content, um, including like brand new trailers and things that are under construction right now and nearing finalization. Ooh. Um, and new shows like the one that uh, Ashley is going to be running, um, the Call of Cthulhu. Um, I, I won't I won't say anything. She's not here, so I don't want to spoil anything that she wants to keep to herself. But uh, yes, so lots of things like that. Uh, so subscriptions all go back into the channel. Um, we don't take any of it. Um, so if you are uh, inclined to subscribe to us, we appreciate it so much. Um, we know that um, you know uh, money is tight right now and things. So if you choose to uh, donate a little bit of money every month, then thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, and in kind, for those things, our brand partners help us uh, with giveaways, which we have one available. When we get to 35 subs, you'll see we're uh, just below me a little bit. No, further, further, further there. Um, you'll see the counter. We're at two, two for the month. Hey, it was first up, uh, first, first stream of the month. Um, so once we get to 35, whatever stream we're on we will unleash the giveaway in that stream you do have to be in the us and you have to be in the stream when we call it because you have to claim it or we move on uh, but the first giveaway that we are doing this month is uh, a tray of holding from norse foundry oh. like this one right here so this is, ooh, this is the uh, Fenrir one. It's all holographic and things. Oh, and Betty has the unicorn one, of course. Um, so I these one. guys open up, and the lid actually doubles as a dice tray as well for like bigger and heavier dice. You want to roll further. But the inside, which is lined with uh, like velvety type stuff, actual velvet i don't think uh felt maybe <laughs> but um so it's it's really really nice for rolling metal dice um it, like and gemstone dice as well and glass it protects them uh you can store dice around the outside as well so you can take up little little room on your table um but this is absolutely awesome and it is uh, wrapped in vegan leather um Oh, vegan leatherette. Is, 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 is that what they call in pleather these days? <laughs> uh, vegan leatherette, I think, is the, <clears throat> uh, the the technical term. But yes, so we have one of those available. Uh, they are awesome. I use them all the time. Um, and I think you can store like seven seven sets of dice in, in one of those. Six to seven, depending on the That's size. That's amazing. Yes! So that, um, that was a really long one. But uh, other things, uh, subscribers uh, also get access to uh, subscriber-only giveaways that we do for like big, big things, like possibly some green striped agate dice that we may be giving away if we get far enough with our sub goals this month. Ooh, natural gemstone dice. Um, uh, and uh, you can also hit exclamation point roll in the chat to roll a d20 along with the players as well. Uh, on top of that, uh, we also have flex points. Flex points, I stumble on this every single time. Flex points. <laughs> See the little flexing arm down the bottom left hand of the chat? You can click on that and then click on one of our players. Oh, in a minute, I guess. Are you loading it right now? It's not working. Oh, it's not working. We're going to work on getting it working, but, oh. The flex points work. Yeah. Um, except for it doesn't tell you the percent. It's just not counting them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, luckily, we have uh, a Ronin who keeps track of all of those. Me too. Thanks so much, Ronin. Thank you for your service. Um, but, uh, yes, so you can spend a thousand points on each player per string. Um, and uh, once 10 of you gang up on one, they will earn a flex point, uh, which will be shown by the giant flexing arm uh, on their character window. And that gives them sort of a, uh, a side door to the rule of cool and allows them to bend the narrative and flex their abilities for some really clutch moments that we've had in this campaign so far. So uh, get in the chat, talk amongst yourselves, see who you want to get the flex point to, 
and then just team up and spam them. That's the best way to do it, to make sure that your uh, character of choice gets the flex point. Um, yes, I think, oh, and YouTube. We have a YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers right now. Uh, we're at like 800, so we just need 200 more. Um, so that would be awesome. Any, uh, is it just exclamation point YouTube, maybe? Yeah, sorry. There we go. I did it. I did it. I can do things. Um, so the link is up there. That's where all of our uh, episodes go to live on in the ether. I have a lot of catching up to do because uh, life has been absolutely insane. Lots of cool things to be able to release very soon. Um, <sighs> I think that's it. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Well then, I suppose the only thing left to do is roll the trailer and finally get back to the next episode of The Fables of Galia. That's got to be smoother than Fireball. Ooh. We're back. <laughs> and so, now that we are live, last time on The Fables of Galia, you guys had started the uh, session uh, in Thena's Forge um, with, uh, with Fernando and Antonio as well. And you guys had figured out a plan to have Rose fly up invisible carrying Adeline uh, to try and get above the border of the dome, possibly, possibly a cube, we don't know, it's invisible, um, area of effect that the enchantment is having that is stopping messages from leaving Heliocal, which is uh, under siege from, uh, well, not siege, under occupation by um, an army of gnolls that are looking to um, bring Yinogu to the material plane. Um, it started off well. You got up, you sent the message, you started to hear a response come back from David uh, in uh, Holbolder, the Dwarven city, before you started descending and the message was cut off from you hearing the whole response. Um, falling back down, the abomination, the large um, giant hyena centaur uh, type creature that had been altered by the... Um, 
uh, the druidite crystals looked off into the distance seeing something and uttering the words I see you triggering Kaya to leap down onto the streets and uh, initiating combat while the uh, the girls falling through the sky hurtle towards uh, one of the rooftops a battle ensued uh, to a point where we had to stop and so that is where we are picking up this week let me get some battle music going and yes I suppose we should uh, switch to the battle map <clears throat> All right. We are at the top of the round. Kaya, you are up. What are you doing? Can you point out where I'm, my mini is? Yes. You see a little. Oh, there he is. Okay. He his his hat and cape blended right in with the uh, cobblestone. Um. So you had just watched as your uh, brother in. Um, in Rhapsody, ran across, stabbing into the knoll that had grappled and pulled you away, and he is starting to slump in front of you, letting go. So that, um... That knoll is down, is that what you're saying? He is, yes. Okay. And I is there him. anyone else on that side in that is a an enemy oh yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah we got three zombos one two three okay i'm gonna Around take out uh, i'm going to attack the one that's sort of you know in front of me and to my left and i'm gonna move up i guess whatever that is five or ten feet and attack is, is no the one that's next to Rhapsody? That that is a zombie, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yeah. So I am going to um, attack him with uh, my rapier. Okay. Yeah, that's um, that's only a ten. So I'm assuming that does not hit. <laughs> a 10 does uh, not hit, no. I rolled a dang two. <laughs> All right, let's roll again. Oh, that's not much better. A six plus eight, 14. 14 does hit. Yes. All right. So, Oh, um. 13 points of piercing. 13. And bonus action. I'm going to attack it again with my... No, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Uh, bonus action. Where's my bonus action? If you... Oh, I will do, I can actually, I will do an unarmed strike with my left fist. Go for it. Um, that misses with a 10. <laughs> Got a roll oh. terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's something about the unnatural way that it's moving. Where as you yeah. run over and start throwing, expecting to the to move in certain ways, they sort of their bones are cracking in the wrong direction and they're slumping in uh, unnatural ways, and so a couple of your blows just go wide. Um, that I, I knew I thing. should. I, I think to myself, I knew I should have learned Drunken Master when I was at the, uh, <laughs> uh, the monastery. <laughs> cool. Is that everything? That's it. 
Awesome. Um. It is. You watch as the the knoll that is um, basically engaged with uh, with loss and his shadow right now. Um, he draws a bow from his back, uh, knocks an arrow, looks straight up onto the rooftop, pulls it back, and lets loose at Adeline. Ah, D20. Come on, man. That's a natural 20. No, wait. wait. Well, who's it shooting? Adeline. No, it isn't. <laughs> but it is a hit. Yes, but it's not a natural 20. It's not critical. Yep. No worries. Um... Okay, there's my reaction for the round. <laughs> what does it look like when you do this? That's a good question. Um, I would think that maybe since she's right next to me, I kind of like push her slightly to where it maybe would have gone to her heart or lungs or something and now it's in her shoulder. Nice. Yes, so being tied to fate, um, you watch almost in slow motion. You're unable to avoid, like, stop the attack from happening. But as it careens towards her, just as it gets close, you reach your hand out, and this thread, this golden thread, emits from your hand. No one else can see it, but it wraps around the arrow and just turns it slightly. And where it was heading straight for her throat, it now points downwards and hits into her shoulder. Uh, where she drops to one knee um, with that's eight points of piercing damage. Are you writing that down? I'll write it down for her. <laughs> I will. Da -da -da -da. Didn't think about starting this mode. That's so much cooler than the, the what I had in my mind. <laughs> my, in my mind, in my mind, I have final destination in my mind, and like the when mosquito bite it. that bit you last night bit you on your crotch, and you scratched it, and by bending over to scratch it, you bump her, and then you shove her. <laughs> and then the arrow misses by. Just the chain reaction, like domino effect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Like bumbling luck. Bumbling luck, fate. <laughs> uh, I will need someone to uh, roll a concentration check. Uh, I'll roll it. If I Seven, roll it, I'll actually 17 use 17 plus whatever her thing is. Oh, you rolled a 17? I did. Plus one is 18. That's a pass. The spell stays. What was the spell? Oh, she has her. Yeah. She has hunger of Hadara. Yeah. Um, so he's going to do it again. <laughs> Oh. And that's a natural 19. I rolled a 20 and a 19. Um, so I think that's going to hit her. This is very foreboding. For another 10 points of piercing damage. The Noel guy has some battle smarts. Attack the what is her? Faster. What is her AC? Because it's, it's up right now. It's plus one, I think, with me. Next her AC is 12. Oh, so I think I got it. She's, she's got it. <laughs> yeah. um, I tried. She's wearing cosplay armor. <laughs> <laughs> Not real. Like it's only in a dress. Like, she's in a... Um, okay, cool. Um, so I need another concentration check for that one. Alright. It's a plus, plus one as a constitution. 13? Oh, she, no, she's got a plus four. Oh, she is actually she's be... efficient in con saves. 16 this time with the plus four. So I rolled 12. That'll do it. She maintains. Cool. Um, great. Is she, is that she is. Up? Is she okay? Do I need. I, I need to know. She's up. She, she's like on one knee and bleeding profusely from the shoulder. Okay. 
as she just kind of looks up at you with like wide eyes behind her glasses. Okay, 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 okay. Because I think I'm. Um, good. Yes. Um, so that is that. And. Uh, where are we? Yeah, Rose, you are, you are up. You are um, at this point. Fire. Yeah, my wings are. Good. Yes, you guys watch as the gold ethereal wings just kind of reduce into like gold dust and kind of dissipate into the air. So as you do rules, I can't action spell, bonus action spell. No. You can only cast one level spell. But you can cast a cantrip and a bonus action spell. Okay, then I'll do that. I'm gonna toll the dead on the big bad. Ooh, okay. He needs to do a wisdom save. Seventeen, negative one, sixteen. Meets it, beats it. Meets it, beats it. Okay, then I will. Still half damage though, right? Yeah, which is like two d eight. All right, I wasn't prepared for this one. Make sure you roll with the correct dice because he's already wounded. Yes. Oh, good point. Man, Brent, what would I do without you? Um, I would roll lower damage. <laughs> okay. It's going to be. Okay, okay. Oh! Okay! Okay, so. So it's going to be 20 halved, so 10. 10? Yeah, and it's um, necrotic damage. Hopefully he's not resistant to that. Being that he's uh, Yeah, see, you guys hear the sonorous doom of the bell as you watch him just kind of stumble back a little bit, just like two of his feet stumble back slightly as he and stares straight up. Good. That's great. Um, then... For my bonus action, I will healing word Adeline. Okay. Um, for uh, seven plus nope, yeah, plus five. So, uh, so twelve healing. Nice. Yeah, she starts to look a lot better. He watches the, as she manages to pull the arrow out of her shoulder. The wound starts to close, um, and the color starts to come back to her face. Okay. Great. You're staying right there. Can I? Can I drop to a knee? Like. Up yes. there, like I want to be more like behind my shield, but down on a knee, like at the top there. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Hmm. How to rule that? Can you create your own cover? I don't think so. Uh, okay. I mean, if you move back from the edge. I was planning. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna try and. I don't know if this is allowed, but can I move Adeline back from the edge as well as myself? Like pull us both back. You can. You can drag her at uh, half movement. Well, I don't need to move us, even fifteen feet. Just like maybe ten feet back. No, I'm just giving you the rule. Yeah. 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 There you go. You're uh, back, um, back on the the uh, further in on the roof. I couldn't think of any words then at all. Um, great. That's what you're doing. Um, yeah. 
Action bonus movement. Yep. We are good. Lost. You are up. I'm up. Okay. So, uh, my shadow's right there, right? Cool. My shadow unleashes on the, uh, after Your seeing shadow those starts fishes. its turn within <laughs> Hunger of Hadar, I believe. Oh, oh shit, for real? Gone. <laughs> That's right. It's did the dead. Okay. So it is gone. It gone. All right. Um, so what I do is, uh, I, I, I learned something new this past two weeks. Brent showed me. I actually have three Misty Steps per day. Proficiency bonus Misty Steps. Oh. Yeah. I've been I've been like nerfing myself, yo. So <laughs> Oh that's, that's with the new that's with the new uh Morden Canon, yeah. Right? Morden um, Canons, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I am going to Misty Step to that space right behind um Brent. <laughs> right there, cool. And from there, I launched two attacks at uh, at the knoll with my chains. At um, the abomination. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, first one is a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one will hit. Um, actually, oh, you watch as he watches you disappear his eyes spark with that blue and his head follows and sees you reappearing and so sees the chain coming he spins his glaive around and ting, knocks it out of the way he, his reaction to parry reaction to parry all right cool second attack uh so he knocks it away to parry i yank it back and I do that thing with rope darts where, like, I whip it around my leg and neck and I fire it back at him. Uh, for a 15. But what? I have Diane's uh, Bardic Inspiration. So let me see here. Are you going to use it? Yeah. Seven. So that's a 22. That will hit. So, so I, 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 I'm saying, so basically I whip it, I miss it, but the ghost of my twin brother who looks all emancipated and like grayed out, uh, snatches a hold mid, mid swing and like redirects this, the, the chain to slice at the knoll. And when he does that, I glare at him and I yell at him and I go, even in death. You seek to steal my glory. Be gone! And I, I, and I, and I, yeah, I look hella pissed off. Yeah, so Lost is kind of kicking around his uh, spike chain like uh, like the rope dot, um, kicking it up again for the second attack. Um, yeah, you see your brother. He and you watch as the um, the chain starts to direct. And you can see him about to knock it away with the glaive again. And then your brother appears and just puts his arm out. And it hits his arm and wraps around and takes a different direction. Which redirects it straight as it <clears throat> just sticks in. The spikes just stick into his chest. Before you reel it back and you watch as the, the blood kind of cascades across the, um, the stone ground. Uh, pulling it back as he smiles at you before he just disappears. Yeah, I, I do 13 damage, and I, I launch a tirade of Shadow Arkai uh, curses at him. <laughs> 13? Yeah. You watch as he looks down at his chest, and then looks back up at you and just smiles. It maybe didn't do as much as you wanted it to. Okay. Um, I think that bonus, that, 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 that's the end of my turn. Cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, it is the abomin- oh, I've got those two round the wrong way. Just as well I was looking at the actual one. Um, yeah, so the abomination, after sort of parrying, uh, your chain, 
and then um, uh, taking the spike chain across his chest, he's going to Yeah, he's going to... He's going to snarl at you, Lost. Oh, me? Lean towards you, and then take yep. off in a different direction. Huh? Oh, wait, I have a reaction. Because he left my threat range. He did? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll do a sentinel attack on him. And I got a 17. 17 does hit, yes. Ah ha ha ha, you. And he used his reaction. Ah, so. oh, I rolled a one, so that's uh, six damage. But he's still stuck. But he's stuck, he can't move. Yeah, so you throw your chain out and wrap it around one of his back legs and just yank it as he goes to leave, um, which kind of stops it. And he turns to you again after the second time that you've done this and says, fine, have it your I way. I smile. I smile and I was like, you have not been dismissed yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hearing that, you watch as just steam kind of emanates from his nose as he stands up on his hind legs, swings his glaive around and comes straight down on top of you. Yeah, I, I scream out to him in uh, the Shadarkai equivalent. Come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. That is uh, an 18. That hits. And a 26. Yeah, that hits too. So. I, I would like to use my uh, reaction on one of those. So. To use that my. Is... 10 points of slashing followed by where is it there? a 9 points of slashing so it's I rolled a 9 plus where is it Perception. 9 plus 3 12 so 12 points but I mean, it, I guess the, the max it would only take is the 10 points because it can only do that to one attack. Okay. So it blocks one of the attacks. Yeah. So but you what you it? notice, and this is what I keep forgetting, is that after a Misty Step, I'm ghostly. So that second attack actually hits me and I take half damage because I have resistance to damage through the whole turn. Whoa, okay. I never I never remember that. But when I do the blessings <laughs> wow. of the Raven Queen, I have a resistance to the damage. All right. It's kind of clutch. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, I take yeah, half I'll watch that happen. Um, and... Yeah, he's going to... Oh no, his movement is zero. Okay, so he won't do that. He will... Um... Hmm. I'm not sure how to rule that. I will leave that as a bonus action. He will no, he can't do that either. So yeah, that's that's gonna be his turn for now. Um mm -hmm. Yep. 
So then we leave up to the zombie. Who will? Run up here. And uh, make a slam attack against Lost. Oh, that's a six. No. <laughs> It just kind of lunges at you um, and just kind of goes through your sort of half misted form, uh, not making contact at all. Um, and that leads us to Adeline. Welcome in. Oh, hi, oh, guys. Yes. You had just taken uh, a couple of arrow shots to the shoulder, um, but then were uh, were healed by uh, your your friend Rose. Uh, you managed to maintain hunger of Hadar the whole time, though. Oh, nice! So I'm... Okay. Do I need to do anything to my points? To my to my hit points? I've already done it. Oh! Oh! Fancy! Okay. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, Adeline kind of looking at the battlefield as it stands now. Um... The hunger of Hadar just kind of condenses in on itself and kind of warps into this like void in space, just kind of like, and then like uh, sucks towards Adeline and starts to rotate around her and then splits into six parts. So she's gonna drop that and cast Melf's Minute Meteors um, and go ahead and ping two of those. Uh. Gosh, there's a lot of scary people out here, huh? Um, she will hit the two zombies that are flanking Lost. Okay. On that side. Um, these two? Yes, so they need to make Wait. a... Uh, a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, dexterity. Uh, yeah, that's a nine for the closest one, and then the furthest one <laughs> is a seven. <laughs> fail and fail. Okay. So the first one is going to take five points of damage, and the second one will take ooh, nine points of damage. Ooh, okay. Is that closest, closest and furthest? Yes. I did it in the order that you did it, or mentally, I guess. Yes. Um, and... Oh, wait. Oh. Huh. Um... Yeah, and the, the four remaining, like, black stars are just kind of orbiting around her, and she's going to stay. Uh, oh, where is the archer that hit her? Uh, that is the uh, the null right here. Ugh. She'll back up, like, five feet or ten feet just to get kind of out of line of sight for them. Okay. I'm going to leave you there, because I'll yeah. be off the <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um, dope, that's it? Yep. All right. Okay. So it is... It is... The orange knoll's turn as well. And he is going to turn around after loosing those arrows and watching the girls like take off and not being able to see them from where he is. He'll turn and watch as uh, his other um, knoll soldier drops to the ground and sees Rhapsody stood there with his dagger out covered in blood, and he snarls, takes another arrow out, 
and drops it into something before knocking it and loosing an arrow towards him for that's an 18 let me see what's his that hits I think I think so let me double check Suspense. It does not. It oh. does not. <laughs> the cloak of protection just kind of wafts in front of him, and he just kind of seems to sort of uh, almost disappear out of sight for a moment uh, before coming back in. So he knocks another one. That's a 21. He did the same thing as well. He drops it into something before loosing it. And it flies straight under the glaive of uh, the Abomination. Straight path, straight towards him, and hits him straight in the solar plexus. As he looks down at it, looks up directly into your eyes, Kaya as they roll back in his head and he just falls back. That's his turn. That would have been Rhapsody's turn, but now it's the zombie's turn. Yep, it's the one in front of you, Kaya, which is going to turn and just throw its arms at you for a six. Um, it just misses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> And then the last one will take a slam attack at you. Lost with advantage. Yeah. Well, that's six. And a 17. 17. Let me just double check my AC. <laughs> hits. Just hits. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. A zombie hit someone. Um, You take a whopping eight points of bludgeoning damage. Eight points, so I take four. Cool. Yep, yep, for your resistance. Yep. Right. Uh, that is its turn. Uh... You guys look up towards movement on the rooftop as Lily is stood there after casting the spell and she starts looking towards her hands and what little emotion that she tends to emote from her face turns into slight panic as you watch as these black feathers start pulling up from around her, encasing her in this wall of feathers before pulling her down into the roof and disappearing. The Raven Queen. Oh, no. And, uh... Back to the top of the round. Kaya, you are up. Um, I just look at Roz with shock and you see this just like great panicky type fury well up within me and I just lash out at 
everything around me. And so I'm going to just start swinging my um, my rapier at, at this zombie in front of me. And I'm going to roll with an actual d20 this time instead of a d12. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Last turn I rolled all three rolls with a d12, and I still hit with one of them. Wow. But yeah, so... <laughs> I thought they were crazy um, move for you. <laughs> yeah, I was like two six and a two on those last on those rolls before. So this is a fourteen plus eight. So that's a twenty two. That'll hit the zombie. Yes. Um. All right. And then I'm. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the damage on that. That is a six plus five is eleven. Okay, and that's the one in front of you? Yes. Okay. Is he still up? He is. Although, like, joints are cracked the wrong way and his spine is kind of, like, cracked sideways and his ribs have kind of met his pelvis. Okay. I, I rolled that one, but it, it fell out of my dice tray. Even though it was a natural 20, I'm going to re-roll it, so... Um, so that's only a, that's a, a dirty 20 this time. So, That'll still hit. Yeah, and that's, um, 10 points of damage. How do you want to eviscerate this one? Um, I just, my, with my rapier, I just take one swing and it just stabs into, like, his, his one arm, um, like his shoulder joint in that one and then that arm hangs loose and then the next one just goes into the other shoulder joint and both arms just kind of hang loose as it collapses. And then, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to turn on this other zombie to my right and, <laughs> and just do a like uh, a hammer fist pound with my left hand, and You're that is that is a twenty-one to hit, and that'll hit. Let's make this um, like fire damage. And um, that'll be what's going on? Um, six points. Well, what is that? My character sheet seems wrong. It only shows a two for damage for my unarmed strike. I thought as a monk I got bigger than that. That's weird. Anyway, uh, it's always been, it's never been that before. Oh, anyway, let's just go with two. Two points? Yeah, I mean. I thought it was one of your martial arts die. I I I thought so too, but that's not what my character sheet is showing tonight for some reason. Roll a martial arts die. Okay. I'm ruling it that way. Um, so that's seven. Seven. All right. And um, and I just let out like a like a like a cry of of anguish as I as I just you know pound this guy. Uh-huh. Just gonna just gonna let that one. Okay. Um Rose, you are up. Okay. I Okay, I I'm gonna did Roz disappear altogether, or is he just on the ground? No, he fell over. You can't see him, though. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I was confused. Okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. 
Um. My camera only goes so wide. <laughs> if I go to like perpendicular to him on the roof, will I be thirty feet from him? Like if I run, if I sprint down the roof to be like in line with him, will I be thirty feet from him? Jay doing that geometry, uh, trigonometry. Or that. <laughs> the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. So to, be, yeah. to be like directly in line with him, you need to move 40 feet laterally and then 10 feet forward. Can I, it, within my 30 feet of movement, can I get within 30 feet of him? Yes. Then that's yes. what I want to do. So I move myself to be within 30 feet of him. And I like sprint down there. And on him, he's going to get spare the dying. Um... <clears throat> As you go to cast that spell, you notice that there is nowhere for it to land. You emit that energy to save someone who is on death's door. And it just kind of sits in your hand, waiting for a host. And there is none. So, so he's not dying? Or he's already He's dead? not there. Whoa. Well, I don't know what that means. So I'm going to. His Wi Fi went out. So, narratively, like action wise, I sprint down to try and spare the dying on him, and I do that. But whatever weird happens, but I am going to cast Guiding Bolt at the big guy at the third Ooh. level. Okay. So, you know, like action movie, I'm like running. And I get to where I, for, for him. John Woo. Yeah, for him. Dive I, in the air. I have like magic coming off of this hand for sp Spare the Dying that never leaves. And I kind of react to that. And this hand goes to like Guiding Bolt onto the bad guy. And we'll see if I hit before I say anything else. So, Bo Katan knee slide. Hell yeah. On. Oh, all, all the way. Oh, no, I'll put my shield under my knees so I don't have any damage from that. Um. <sighs> The a bob sledding across yeah, the room. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, does an 18 hit? An 18 does hit. Oh, good. Okay, that's lots of dice. Okay. And there's the last one. I didn't want to put my gemstones with my medals. Okay. Twenty-four. Ooh. Radiant damage. Ooh. Damn. Um. Yeah. So twenty-four radiant damage, and he um is anybody who hits him melee next has advantage on their attack. Yeah. Just any any attack roll, right? Next attack roll. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool, yep, no worries. Um, I'm just saying that for the plays, because I won't remember. Um, cool, is that, that's everything? Yeah, I don't think I can do anything. So you watch as this golden bolt emits from your hand, and you strike him straight on. He's not looking for this. He's engaged with, um, with Lost, who's been taunting him. Um, it strikes him and he yells out in pain, um, stumbling a little uh, before like readying his glaive again. Can we say that I aimed for the blue stone? Is it on his back? What stone? Doesn't he have his druidite? The druidite? He took the druidite 
with him and being exposed that close to it so long directly. That's what changed him. Oh, so he doesn't have it embedded in him? Nope. Oh. Not the UC. Right. Oh, I think I misunderstood that. Yeah. Uh, Antonio told you way back uh, when he was going through the uh, the generals that uh, it was the long exposure to the crystal directly. Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay. Then I just hit him. That you do. And you did it good. All right. Lost. You are up. All right. How big is this guy? Depends. When he stood there, like, facing you, probably about, like, eight, nine feet. Uh, got it. Okay. If he rears up, he gains, like, another sort of four or five. Got it. Cool. Um, okay, I'm Hello. going to summon... <laughs> my... Yeah, yeah. My bonus action, I'm going to summon my shadow again. Okay. Anywhere. Like, maybe to the, to the north, to the top. Yeah, and then I am going to tenderize him with some chain strikes. So the first oh, one geez. is a 25 to hit. 25 does hit, yes. Ooh, and that does 14 damage. Probably have. And then... The second attack, <coughs> that misses, I rolled a three, and I'll burn my Unleash Incantation, uh, Incarnation, for one more attack, for a 17 to hit. A 17 does hit. Does hit, okay. And you watch as he starts to move his glaive to parry, uh -huh. but instead drops his hand and just stares you down as the chain wedges into him. How much damage? 13 damage. Okay. And that's all I do. Awesome. Uh, it is the Abomination's turn. Um, also, welcome in, Half Coven Games. Yeah. Thank you for the raid. Um, so, the Abomination is going to yeah, he uh... he's gonna he's gonna run straight at you. And me. Straight at you. And yes. as, he, as he comes in, he puts his glaive down and drops his shoulder into you. Um, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Okay, let me check. As he comes out. into contact with your chest. <laughs> That's my best one. Yes. 22. 22 does save. Does save. So he rams against you. Um, not enough speed to kind of take you down, but you kind of like anime style grab onto his shoulder as your feet are kind of scooting backwards as he's pushing along. Uh, yep. as, he, as he's got you pushing back with your feet kind of sliding in the dust, he's like a. a launches forward with his glaive like directly in a stabbing motion okay that is a natural 20. that hits this is a new round it is am i 30 feet with him with within 30 feet of him yeah cancel <laughs> okay not today um <laughs> And then, oh, that's a natural one. So only the first attack hits. Uh, 
you hear the glaive before you see it. You hear the and as you look down, this glaive, this this sort of bronzed glaive has these chain links attached to um, the piece of the large, like heavy piece of metal that is behind the the blade and the um, sort of the dwarven um, quenched metal uh, that you hear sailing through. He goes to lunge and then changes direction to hit you with um, the butt of it. Uh, so he's going to cause... That is 14 points of... Um, we'll call it bludgeoning damage because of the way I've flavored it. Minus and 10 I, of those. And I need you to make a... Uh, Minus 10. So four. Minus 10? Took, okay. Yeah, minus 10. I took away 10 of those with... Oh, when when, nice. when it was coming down, I took my whip and just yanked on it. Yep. Nice. So he comes with this glaive attack, comes with the butt end. Uh, uh, Rose moves fate, threads pull, and it's gonna like, hit me in the crotch. And then Brent swings his, <laughs> his attack. <laughs> And it just so happens that it's nippy today. So it's really cold and it hits nothing <laughs> it's not, except it's not, my it's inner not. thigh. It's not. Cal, it is the Sun City. It's not cold. <laughs> it hits my inner thigh <laughs> for less than four damage. Yes. Um, but I do need you to make a, um, a strength saving throw again. Strength saving throw. All right. Let's see here. 21. 21, so you save there. Um, yep, that's what happens. He's a little bit closer now. Oh, you know what? He would have gotten advantage. Oh, yeah? Because, yeah, because of uh, flanking. You have three, three surrounding you. Okay. So this is for the natural one. I'm going to roll once more. Got it. That is Yeah, that's uh twenty-three. That is. And that is eleven points of slashing damage as Ooh. he quickly flips around direction. He's like manipulating this glaive as if it's a short sword. Like that's yeah. the level of strength and control he has over it. He kind of flips it on the back side, so it's along the back of his uh, forearm and slashes backwards with one one arm branching the glaive before bringing nah. it back. Um, cool. That's the abominations go. It is <laughs> zombie dudes go. Ooh. That's a 19. Does that hit you, Lars? Yep. Dope. Go, zomboys. That's five points of bludgeoning five. damage. Damage. Okay. Um, great. Adeline, you are up. Thirteen. Um... Want to do this big thing, or do I want to do that big thing? I'm gonna do this big thing. Uh, looking at everything that's been going on and our cat, um, our not now, Antonio. <laughs> Antonio, no. Uh, uh, seeing everything that's happened, what with. Uh, Lily and Roz and everything and I'm out of focus and you know what okay there it is um she's gonna look at this big scary bastard and I need him to make an intelligence saving throw 
Oh, he's got this. He's the smartest guy on the field. Feeble mind. The big brawny ones usually are. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the fact uh, that it took you a minute to respond <laughs> isn't all the good game. Like two points of emotional damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> intelligence save? Yeah. 19! Oh, plus zero! No! 19 plus zero! No. Well, you're still gonna take half as much damage as I cast Ralithim's Psychic Lance. So half of 76 is still, is still your being. Half of 76 is 38. <laughs> 38 damage. <laughs> Half of twenty six. It's a lot less than. It's a lot less than thirty eight. Yeah. Yeah. We need how that works. Not out. like a lot, but it's still yeah. And then she's gonna send two more of her minute meteors at that same guy. So Ooh, good right. luck making a freaking dexterity save now. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I only rolled a 10, but that's 17. Ooh. That's the save. <laughs> He's proficient. Wait, takes. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Wait, huh? Takes ha ha ha! <laughs> You're still gonna take half. There it is. When I roll high, the math is harder. <laughs> More things. Yeah, the numbers are big. Eighteen, half. So nine. 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 That's my whole ding dang turn. There's a tentacle yeah. on your screen. <laughs> uh, so you watch this barrage of spells. How does your psychic glance look? Do you see I it? Think, yeah, I think that it's just felt. I think she just like has a very hard stare uh, in that direction. And um, I the think- Care there, amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think- uh, <laughs> You know, I think her eyes kind of like blacken over almost as she like, uh, and the then his do as like he just like cringes from like the pain that's in his head. That's only half of the pain that it could have been. Could've so known. he should be scared <laughs> of what could happen if I had another spell slot at that level. But so yes, launching two uh, meteors at the same time. Uh, anyone nearby will watch as um, Adeline's eyes kind of cloud over with uh, nebula and cosmos and things um, as she focuses the rest of her spell. You can almost see, it's almost like when, uh, like in, in the cursed trilogy of Star Wars, um, where you can hear them using the force against one another, that sound emitting, um, but no one sees anything actually happening as you watch the abomination reel back in pain, standing upright, which allow the meteors to hit him one after the other in the back as he starts looking around at the field and uh, summing up what's happening. Um, cool. Uh, action bonus, are you moving? I assume um, you would have moved where you could see him so that you yes. could cast Psychic Lance. Yep, uh-huh, I would have done and that. And then and then I'd like to move right back to where <laughs> I have some cover. Um, there you go. And, that, and yeah, um, Meteors was my bonus. Yeah, that's everything. Dope. All right. Uh, orange Knoll. Orange Knoll. 
What doth you do? Um... Yeah, he's, uh... How far away is he? Yeah, so he's going to... Um, put his bow back on his back and run towards the wall and uh, throwing his hands out to either side he watches these claws extend out and he starts slamming them into the bricks and climbing straight up I am going to roll an athletics check to make sure he doesn't lose any movement that's a 19, so he's fine there. But he does. Uh, Adeline, as you are backing away, you watch as this huge knoll hand <laughs> grabs onto the uh, the roof, followed by another <laughs> as he lifts himself up onto one knee, taking his bow, knocking an arrow, and loosing at you. <clears throat> That is uh thirteen. It hits. And again. Ooh, that was fancy. With a twenty-one. Shield on the second wait, no shit. That won't do it. <laughs> shield on the first one. Shield on the first one? Can I shield on the first one? I realize yeah, I didn't say it till too late. I'll let you. <laughs> Okay, but that de- that second one's really gonna mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> you had me in the first time. Of- <laughs> <laughs> There's eight points of piercing damage. As the first one, he lets loose, and you instinctively, like, throw your arms up sideways as <laughs> this, uh, like, arcane wall of. Just what you can see, like a like a starry night, kind of just appearing, the semi-translucent. As you watch the one arrow hit and snap off to the, the one side, um, he looses another one, and it does manage to penetrate through the shield and catches you in the other shoulder. Um, <laughs> and that is oh that God. is all of his That's... movement. He cannot get any closer. That is him. You know in Ace Ventura when he keeps getting hit yes. by the poison darts? <laughs> so- it's in the bone! It's in the bone! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I fucking love that movie. Um, it's so good! I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on else I will quote it all night. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so that's the null turn. Um, Rhapsody is on the floor. Uh, moving on. It is... Yep. Uh, that's gonna be a slam attack against... Lost? Yep. Fifteen. Nope. Ah, this one just came... A little too slow with his like arms flopping over the top and you just kind of push them off to the side as you're kind of focusing on the abomination <laughs> that's like rearing yeah. up this giant form you just kind of push it off to the side like get away um and then uh the other one um <clears throat> oh nope nope that one's gone that's right we are back to the top of the round but that is where we are going to take our 10 minute break. Uh-huh. Ah. Um, so stick around. We have uh, giveaway goals. We have uh, uh, battle maps. Um, and we have the, uh, the possible conclusion of this battle once we come back. Stick around, guys. We will be back in 10. Welcome back uh, to the Fables of Gallia on the Swole Initiative Network. We are picking up mid-battle. 
still going. Um, uh, we are at the top of the round. Kaya, you are up. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, is that is that zombie still up? Uh, if they're in front of you, they are. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I am going to attack it. You do that with my d20. I, I pulled the d12 again. I almost rolled the wrong one. Um, yank up again. That'll be uh, 22. 22 will hit, yes. And that's going to be a 4 plus 5. 9 points of uh, piercing damage. 9 points. To which one? This to one the... Right yeah, the one that's straight in front of me. Yep. No. no. That one, yes. Okay. Sorry, I was you looking said, at. You said the no, room. and I was sat down, so I was like, I, know why. I was looking at the. Room. I was looking at the stream instead of the instead of our intern. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How oh many points God. did you say? Um, I forgot. Um, nine. No, it was yeah nine. Yeah, four plus five is nine. Okay. Uh, he is not looking in great condition. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna follow up with a another shot with the rapier. Um, well, twelve hit. Twelve just hits. <clears throat> oh my god! Because oh that was close. Um. Oh, that's good. I will get 11 points of damage with that one. You will. And how do you do it? Um, this one is just... Um, I stab him in the in the chest and then pull back and stab him in the neck with the rapier. Cool. Yeah, and so then... already kind of snapped over. You take in one... Uh, one stab through the chest, you watch as it kind of goes in between the ribs and kind of catches whatever kind of rotten uh, black viscera is inside, withdrawing before it looks directly at you. And you plunge it straight between its eyes. And it drops to the floor. Then I will... <clears throat> I'm going to run around The other, so I'm gonna run and then on the bottom side. So, um, I guess to uh, lost right. So I'm gonna run from behind him around to the right of him and then down and get into the right of him. So like yeah, and into the right of him, and so that I can get in range of. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Gotta keep looking at the yeah, wrong yeah. screen. Yes or no, Kaya? <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong screen. He's doing the California I can see it, I can see it yeah, better no. than the one yeah, I... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's, like I, it's like I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Almost. So, uh, uh. bonus action. Um, key point, um, patient defense. Okay, cool. Um, so running up alongside your battle brother this time, um, sliding in and kind of readying yourself, uh, for any incoming attacks. Uh, nope. Rose! Yeah. Is he? So now there's this guy up here. <laughs> <Ugh>. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a problem. Ugh, the enemy attacked. Looking <laughs> <laughs> rude. Um, looking at Adeline. How's she looking? If I had to put a percentage on it, I oh would say. <clears throat> Flavor it. 
<laughs> 23 out of 37. <laughs> you know, that classic percent. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, She's okay. She's okay. Okay. Cool. Then I'm going to turn to this guy up here and cast... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast command. So I need him to roll a wisdom save. Which one? The one on the roof. Okay. At the second level, just uh, just to call it. I did, you didn't say anything. Okay. What does it do at the second level? I can affect someone else too. It's me, isn't it? No. I was gonna get the big boy too. <laughs> that is a sixteen. Flat. Oh, me to beat it. That sucks. What about the big guy? <clears throat> That's a 10. Okay. Well, my command. <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel like I would reach out and tell him to, I would, like, you would see, like, a golden thread come from my hand and wrap around his knee and pull him down to his knees, and I would say, grovel. Ooh. Right in front of Lost. Okay, and he does that on his turn, right? And he says, yes, ma'am. To, uh... On its next turn, yeah. Yep. Okay. It, All wait, right. is he undead? Is nope. he considered okay, okay, okay. Um, for a bonus action since that didn't work. Oh no, that's not a bonus action. Look. Um Sorry. I was trying to see if I have anything else. I don't. Oh, actually, I can harness divine power with my bonus action. Um, so I'm going to gain back that spell slot that I just used. That's handy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so you cast out your spell, and you watch as the abomination, like, looks straight up at you, snarling, and you can watch his him fighting his own muscles. Uh, as lost, you are up. Nice. So he's not kneeling yet. Okay, cool. Uh, what I do is... Um, no, he's doing like that anime thing where they're like... <coughs> <coughs> like, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him and I go, you need more fiber. Uh, and I, 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 I circle around him. I circle around him. To the to the the, the uh, like to the uh, to the clo cl as close as I can get to Adeline. So I circle around the knoll, abomination, and then from there, I misty step right onto okay. the back of uh, of that knoll on the roof. Yeah. God damn it, guys. <laughs> I bamf on him, and uh, I'll take an attack roll to grab him. <laughs> okay, so athletics check. Yep. Do grapple. Eighteen. Nineteen. Ah. Oh. So I land like right behind him. Roll to sixteen plus three. Nice. 
Nice. So yeah, you bamf up there, grab onto him. He's kind of like pushing you off at the same time as like going for another arrow. Uh, you like grab onto his arm and you've kind of got him in a little bit of a tussle, but it's not enough to like fully grapple. Not enough to fully grapple, okay. Um, I'm gonna use my second attack to try again to grapple him. Okay. Yeah. Let me roll and tell you what you gotta beat. Okay. <laughs> uh, six. Oh man. I don't oh, think yeah. you. I don't I got think you can that low. So I grab him from behind. Uh, and for flavor, uh, I look over at Adeline and I go, "This is not my best work." And I take the biggest chomp from his ear, no ear, like like it's soy based vegan beef jerky, like <laughs> like this stuff. This episode is sponsored. And I just. So that's gonna be your your bonus action attack. Yeah, is it? that's or my full turn. That's just yeah. for flavor. Yeah, for flavor. <laughs> yeah, so you bite into his ear and you hear this yelp that, as as you do. Um, <laughs> as he kind of like, almost like in a full Nelson, kind of holding his arms back, stopping yeah. him from grabbing at his arrows. Um, awesome. Next sponsor. That's everything, right? Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, it is the Abomination's turn. And so you watch as fighting every urge and him staring down with utter hatred at you, Rose. But his front paws start to fold down and he drops to his like he has his glaive in one hand drops down to uh to his hands in front of his like four legs so he's like spread out long ways as he kind of looks up snarling at you <laughs> and he has to stay that way till his next turn mm-hmm Neil boy Neil um sit. <laughs> sit doggy. It's my one zombie's turn. Uh He doesn't have anyone to hit, so he's gonna, gonna go for a little walk around <laughs> and make a slam attack against Kaya. <laughs> Has anyone two? Oh. That, two. That does not. That does not hit. Hey Jake, has anyone attacked the big guy since I cast Guiding Bolt? Like a million people. Uh, like, oh, okay. No Who's one's hitting. No one. Turn, no one's hitting on an attack. No, I didn't think so because they were working on the other guy. It was only spell saves. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Nobody hit him yet. Lost, you haven't hit him? Nope. I ran okay. and bamfed up to the top. So he's still I thought glowing. you hit him on the last couple. Five. Yep. So he's um, um, already at this or at advantage because he's prone. So he's advantage, advantage. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, so uh, that is that's the zombie's attack. Uh, Adeline. You are up as the shield kind of drops down in front of you. You're watching uh, Lost kind of grappling with the knoll, like gnawing on his ear. Later. Um, and she's going to uh, throw up her arms and curling off of the tentacle mark that's on her arm. Uh, arms of Hadar are going to shoot out. Um and you see just like a barrage of tentacles basically like erupt out of uh <laughs> adeline's like chest and arms um and it's i need you to make a strength saving throw and oh no is lost within 10 feet of me uh... you too 
buddy. Oh. No but problem. But technically, he's like right behind. Yeah, he's he's within ten feet of you. Okay, you too. Sorry. Okay. Mm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. You pass. Uh. That is a. That's a fourteen. That's a fail. Uh, so you're gonna take two d6 necrotic, and you can't take reactions until your next turn. Uh, I rolled two ones. Oh, oh no. Uh, so you watch as... Halfling luck, you get to roll those again. You watch as <laughs> even less of that damage uh, affects him. Oh, oh no. uh... Damn. Well, you can't take a reaction, so how about that? That that <laughs> is that is something that is happening. Correct. That is something that is happening, and then she's you gonna can't send... even laugh at how pathetic the damage was because you can't <laughs> take a reaction. And she's just like, kind of seeing that they're just kind of like caressing and be like what the fuck and send her last two uh meteors <laughs> towards this guy um so that is a oh no well i already said it so uh but this is within you know no there's no way for me to do it without this hurting me because he's right there huh because it's within five feet Can I direct them at the other guy? Okay, <laughs> then I'm gonna direct them at the big guy on the ground. <laughs> that's fine. So that's a dexterity saving oh, no, throw. Adeline, at that moment, would know distance-wise and things and the explosion, so yes. It's... Thank you. She's smarter than Ashley sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll direct them at the other guy. So he has to make a dexterity saving throw, but he's kneeling. He's, so He's prone, which does not give disadvantage to dex saves. Ooh. Boy, he's like rolling around. Okay. Pretty but much, he, yeah. But he can't because he's commanded to stay that way. You can still make a save, though, against yeah. him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it gives him the prone condition. Okay. I'll allow it. Scary uh, <laughs> movie. Oh, it's like the end of the mask where he's getting shot at and he's going to run. <laughs> <laughs> it's like waving up. How many more Jim Carrey movies can we drop? <laughs> oh, don't challenge me. Uh, um, Dex save. Yeah. Dex save. After all that, I rolled a natural one. Boom! Boom. Nineteen points of damage. Oh, okay. And that's my last meteor. Yeah. So the meteors send down just exploding on his back uh, starting to burn away um, like patches of fur and things where you can see this like raw flesh underneath as he's um, sort of so gritting his teeth while he's, he's unable to move um, cool uh, <clears throat> it is it is the Noll's turn uh, yeah okay I didn't say what? it, but I feel like I would have moved back, but I didn't say no, you it. Haven't, you haven't used your movement, that's fine. Yeah, so you would have moved back how far? Um, like 20 feet away from this knoll who's right in my face. You come towards me yeah. or backwards? Towards Rose. Okay. There you go. Hey. 
Thank you. Yeah. Why, why do I guys act like I'm a really like dickhead DM? <laughs> it's <laughs> not that. It's just. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like everyone's like, oh, don't do that to me. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I just feel like these are things that I should have thought of. Yeah, we're harder on ourselves than you are. We've been away for a week. We're rolling D12s instead of D20s. It's all good. <laughs> Looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> all right. It is the Noel's turn. So he's going to attempt to break the... Actually, no. You know what? He's not going to attempt to break the grapple. He's going to push backwards and fall back. Ooh. Not that I was hoping on, he would do that. So show down that cool on move. top. Yep. Of uh, it's not even a shove. He's just going with you. I thought grapple speed is zero. If you're grappling. Oh, that's right. No. No, I believe you. Like you, you both grappled with one another. Right, but if you're grappled, your speed is zero. Yeah. I don't think. Is it really zero? Yeah. Okay. I, I was uh, grappled until I hit that, um, until I killed that first zombie. At least that you try to shove you. Yeah. Okay. Of that. Then you make a then you make a, a shove. Um, yeah. But lost his buff. <laughs> Twenty five. Ooh. Yeah, he does that too. <clears throat> Eighteen doesn't make it. No, it's like it's like um, the tango. He sticks his leg out to try to like block me, <laughs> and I stick my leg out. It's harder, and like I block his leg. <laughs> but, he will, but, he, but he will do it again. He will do it again. Okay. okay. That's 24. a dirty 20. Oh, yeah, so you managed to just like dig your heels in. He can't quite push you back hard oh. enough. Um, okay. Yeah, that, that's his turn there. Um, Rhapsody's down. There's no other zombie there. Uh, we are back to Kaya. And I, I look at this. I look at this groveling. Um, I look at this groveling abomination, and I just say, "Not today." And I just take up. I just lift up my rapier, and I just like come. You know that move that um, Brad Pitt did in yeah. Troy in that Jim first Carrey battle did. when he runs across and he, <laughs> and he stabs it through the through the. He um, been in that movie too. Yep. So that's what that's I'm going to try to do. At an advantage. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that was a natural one. Thank god it's advantage. <laughs> um, that is uh, 21. 21. Um, yeah, that hits. And second attack is 18. So 26 for the second attack. 26 will hit as well. Isn't it still at advantage because he's prone? It's yep. the first attack. Oh, yes, he's prone. So, yes, oh. both of be at advantage. So you can roll well, again. Oh, that's a natural three! That's natural why we three! do that! Whoa. That's why we fucking do that! <laughs> yeah! Fatality! Come on! Um, so, Mortal the combat. first attack damage... He's a big is... boy! Yeah. The first attack damage is nine. The second attack damage plus six is 19. That's with, that's with the critical? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, no, no, that's 13. Yeah, 13 plus six is 19. That's right. Like I've already put pencil to paper. Um, yep. Yeah, so you watch as as you drive the uh, rapier into his back. It's when you make contact with him, it's tougher, and you're not able to like 
drive it as deep as you thought you may have. As he just kind of winces and you feel the muscle kind of contract around the rapier as you pull it back out. Hmm. All right. Then, Stop. um... Go ahead. <laughs> I am going to then, um... Bonus action. Let's patient defense again. Okay. Um, Rose, you are up. Okay. I'm going to position myself in front of Adeline. That's going to be my movement. It is lost in this other guy still like intertwined. Are you guys still like? Yes. Okay. They grappled. Yep. They grappled. Yeah. I have. All right. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, ADHD brain, for thinking of this right now. <laughs> I am going to. <laughs> to hit with an attack, but I'm going to use um, Ray of Enfeeblement on this guy on the roof, and um, a black beam of innervating energy springs from my finger towards the creature within range. Which is 60 feet, so we're good. Uh, make a range spell attack against the target on a hit. The target deals only half damage damage with the weapon with weapon attacks and uh that use strength until the spell ends um does that affect his strength saves too if it's strength based would it be like um if it says it just in the has spell. okay damn okay well we're still i said i was gonna do it so i'm gonna do it um at the end of his turn he has to make a constitution saving throw um against the spell only on a success uh, will the spell it? Okay. And I, so you have to make one now? No. I have to hit them. Oh, okay. Okay. You have to be the 16. Uh, well, then a 9 won't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. Wait, yeah, is that so an it's... advantage? Why would it be a... Would it be an advantage because he's grappled? No, he's just grappled, not restrained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Then no. Um. Yeah. So it's it, like, it's the way that um they're kind of wrestling with one another. Um, Lost actually counter counterbalances him one way, and he spins out of the way as the as the ray just kind of cascades over his shoulder. That's okay. Uh, doesn't. doesn't I should have gone with my other thing that I was gonna do. Um. That's it then. I will stay right in front of uh, Adeline. Okay. Or as much as uh, lost. lost, you are up. I am going to use my first attack to knock him to the ground with the athletics check. Shove okay. while he's grappled. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Ah, oh, man, this guy's a big boy. I'm gonna try it again. Come on. Okay. Come on. We're having a wrestling match, jujitsu match. I, right? I think you have the better modifiers. That was just a high roll. I know. I got a plus eight. Let's see. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Ooh. Fourteen. Ah, so I knock him, knock him to the ground. So basically, he's he's practically he's restrained. Now he is. Now he's restrained. So he's got disadvantage on deck saves. He's got. Uh... 
disadvantage on attacks. Okay. Disadvantage against my ear bites. <laughs> uh, are you doing anything else? No, that's all my attacks. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. I have a bonus action. I you second do. wind. There you go. Oh, I will I get avoid four, four points back. With that. Um, cool. All right. Uh, it's the Abomination's turn. Okay. Uh, and so as you, Kaya, as you pull the rapier out of his back, you watch as his form starts to rise up. He picks up the glaive and arcs it upwards like in a slash straight up you as he stands up on his hind legs like taking as much as he can as he come like stands up and goes coward and um at disadvantage oh okay Twenty-three. <sighs> that hits. At disadvantage, and it's still a damn twenty-three. Uh, that one is nine points of slashing damage. Still at disadvantage. Second one doesn't hit. Um, highest I rolled was a six. Um, no, it doesn't matter. Um, so slashing upwards, you watch this giant, like, uh, wound opens up across your chest. As he stands up, his front paws come off of the ground and slash at you from side to side. All right, disadvantage. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Highest I rolled on the, on the first one was a, a 14. The second one is a 22. 22 hits. And as he hits me with that second slash, I just, I just like, I stare in his face and I just say, I am no coward. Um, so as the first one misses and you say that, he, uh, the second, uh, paw comes from the other side and says, you would stab me when I'm face down. As the slash comes in and causes 11 points of slashing damage. Uh, he is going to turn to look towards the knoll on the roof. Uh, and he just yells out, fall back, regroup. And he's going to attempt to leave. I am going to attack um, with, um, what's it called? Reaction. Um, Sentinel? Sentinel? No, um, just uh, uh, attack of opportunity. Yep. Okay. His rapier is still in the guy's shoulder. Um, only this time, I'm going to use my breath weapon. Wait, okay. can I? Can I do that? An attack of opportunity? Yeah, oh. it's, an, it's an action. It's an attack action. I think it I'll might be it. really attack. I'll allow it. We can, we can look into it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to slow down the game. Okay, then I'm going to do the the psychic damage. All right, as he tries to as he tries to walk off, and I'm and I'm going to say, I told you I'm not a coward, and I just I just unleash this torrent of like into the back of him. Yep, <laughs> the coward running away. I didn't give you leave to walk away. Okay, who's uh, the coward so now? <laughs> deck save. Yes. He's super dex and he's gonna pass, but uh, eighteen. Yeah, that passes. But still, two 
3d10. Oh, that's a 10 and a 5. So, 7 points of psychic damage. Oh, Who's the man. coward now? You're running away. Um, he's going to use his full 60 feet of movement. <laughs> oh, man. Take off. Fast. It's the abomination's turn. It's a double move. Nope. Oh, single move. <laughs> He's basically a giant hyena in full sprint. Like, yeah. Um, somebody's got to get that guy. We can't let him escape when we've got him down this low. Yeah, so he takes off. Um, Coward! <laughs> the, the, the one remaining zombie is going to take a slam attack at you, Kai. <laughs> Watch him hit for full, a natural 20. Probably. I'll finish this. <laughs> I'll get him, boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a 12 to hit. No, that doesn't hit. <laughs> I think he hits, but it's just so weak that it just kind of like <laughs> just flies down. <laughs> I'm tired. There's a fly on me. What? I'm, I'm trying to fight here. There's a fly bug in me. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. So that's it. Go, uh, Adeline. You are up. How far away is Big Bad for me now? From you? Mm-hmm. Like 80 feet? Great. Constitution saving throw, por favor. <laughs> He's a big boy. He better roll the four. Four plus, yeah, it's 11. So Vortex Warp, and he's right back where he started, right in the oh. middle of the screen. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! That was so <laughs> clutch! Amazing. So clutch! Amazing. My little sorcerer. Good luck, guys, because <laughs> that's... <laughs> and with that, my spell slots are... <laughs> Take a quick nap. <laughs> How does that look? How does that look? You can't just leave us on that one. Ooh, I think... I, I think it's similar where her eyes just kind of black over and like, it's like zooming through a galaxy if you look in them, kind of like space and time and stars like zooming in like her eyes as just like with a pop of brightness like a star supernova -ing he is just back in that space um and like i think little like stars black out around him kind of as uh he just exists so you watch as he comes back in that kind of uh starry explosion looking around confused but still in like full sprint um but he is there for now uh is the it's the gnoll's turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've taken him to the ground. Is he still grappled? He's still grappled. Yeah, he's basically restrained. So it's the, all the rules of restrained. Okay. So if you're grappled and prone, you're, you're restrained. Okay, so you're technically down with him, just holding yep. him down. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yep. So we'll, uh, he's obviously going to try and break free. Um, okay. I think it's... Strength, strength battle still. Yeah, uh, athletics roll up. Fifteen. That's uh, that's a natural three, so he's gonna oh, do it one more time. I rolled low too. One more time. I've got him in a full mount. He's he's missed. <laughs> that is. 
23. Oh my god, let me see. 16. So he breaks. He breaks. Breaks free. And uh, he breaks. He uses half his movement to stand. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to look around and just get down onto all fours and leap towards the ground to the street. Like a way? Yep. Down. So there, I'm gonna have him roll. Save. Ooh, that's not great. So you'll take full damage of what? Oh wait, when he leaps, I can take a reaction attack. I forgot. After I do everything. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alright. It's a, it's a, uh, it's prone, so it's a disadvantage anyway. So let's see. Sixteen oh, is what you got to be. It's a twelve in the first roll, and a six, so twelve plus. Yeah, I hit. I hit twenty. You have a plus. Wait, plus what? Eight. Plus eight. He rolled. He got a twelve. Yeah. Oh, 20, okay. 20. 14 damage. And he's still there. Yep, so he's still on the roof. Um, he jumps, he jumps, like, and my chain actually. Throw your chain out. Yep. He's like dangling off. <laughs> so just as he's about to jump, you wrap your chain around him and it stops him in his tracks, unable to like leap through that. You just kind of pull it in tight. Um, he is stuck there. <laughs> Guys. Um, nope, nope, nope. Kaya, you're up. Finish him, Kaya. Um, I'm going to... Man, this armor is killing me. I'm going to breath weapon again for a first attack. Next save. Mm hmm. That's not great. That's an 11. Oh, that doesn't pass. And that is eight, seven, 15 points of psychic damage. Okay. That was my last um, racial breath weapon. I'm going to breath weapon again with my monk breath weapon. <laughs> and that's another deck save. Okay. That is a 17. That passes. So that is five. So five points of damage total. That's half. That's already half. Five. Mm-hmm. And that is going to be um, lightning damage. Okay. And I'm going to action surge. Um, wait, bonus action first. I'm going to left hook with my um, left hand, and that'll be um, a natural one. So that misses. Oh, no. Yep. And then, so then now I action surge, and it's uh, the um, another breath weapon. <laughs> Deck save. Like a million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's um, all four points. All this stuff. Four points of lightning damage. Um. 
Yeah, this isn't working, so he sees that it's just... Yeah, um, breath weapon again, last one. Okay. Is the wording can replace one attack, or can replace... It's, it's, um... When you take the attack action on turn, you can replace, oh, one of your attacks. Oh. Okay, so I did it wrong. That's I fine. have to hit him. Rule it from here. Okay, yep, you're right. I was like, freaking four breath weapons in a row. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, yeah, sorry. Um, then this will be... Just a, a rapier attack. Do you have stuns yet? No. Oh. He's a baby oh, monk. 24. Ooh. What a hit? hit? Yes. That hits. Mm. 11 points. Reduced to whatever. Okay. And um, that's my turn. All right. Rose, yes. you are up. Yes. I am going to use my last third level spell slot and uh, guiding bolt them again at the third level. Okay. I don't remember what his AC is. Oh. His but, natural AC is 16. Well, then I think a 26 will probably hit. 26 oh. will hit. You can't parry it. It's not enough for him to parry. Nice. So it does hit? Mm hmm. Okay. It does. okay. Um, hang on, I put my knee away. All the dice. How many? Gemstone first, and then the metals. Spuddles plays in the chat, coming in with all the bardic inspiration. <laughs> we see you. We see you. We need the help. So that will be twenty-five radiant damage. Oh. Oh dang. Okay. I didn't do it. Ah! I didn't do it. Oh no. Do I feel like radiant? <laughs> do I feel like radiant damage does more than it, it doesn't seem to be doing extra? Okay, it seems okay, to be that's doing what I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. As much as expected. Yeah. Just normal amount, twenty-five of damage. Okay. Yeah. You know, you hit him hard. He didn't explode. Right. right. Um. I can do a cantrip. Uh, if it's a bonus action. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I, I can't do anything else. So I will just make sure that I'm still within five feet of Adeline. Specifically yeah. need to be within five feet. Um, yeah, you see him get, like coming under attack from all angles and he's just, the, the, the teal crackle in his eyes gets brighter and brighter as he's trying to run through it, like just bracing through all of this pain that's racking his body. Um, lost, you are up. This I'm is the up. last turn before. My bonus action. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't need to. My shadow's there. My shadow is going to move right in front of the knoll. Dude. Wait, which one? My shadow that's floating right there, that's chilling. 
The abomination or the gnome? In front of the abomination. And I'm going to unload all my attacks. So my last incarnation, three attacks. But I only do half damage, so hopefully, let's see. First attack is a 21 to hit. Is it an advantage because we're flanking? Uh, it's an advantage because oh, he was hit with a guiding, guiding bolt. Light, a guiding bolt, that's right. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's right. See. I just did that again. Nope, it's just a regular hit. It does nine damage. Halved, I guess. Second attack. 21 to hit. Um, he's going to parry that one. Okay. Okay. And the last attack. 20 to hit. 20 hits. 13 damage. So 6, I guess. Why is it half? Out. Is it half because it's your shadow? Because I don't have, I don't have magical attacks, yeah. And then, and then me at up top, what I do with Lost is I release the tension and I go with, with the no and get pulled off, he, he off the ledge. Him. Yeah. And when I hit the ground, I roll towards the middle of the street and try to move as far as I can to block his way. <laughs> okay. So technically his, like you, you reduce the Noel's movement to zero with uh with uh um what's it called um yep. the thing sentinel yep. so so it's just flavor i'm gonna move i'm basically gonna jump I'll off i'll allow it i'll allow it, I'll allow it. um yeah. So yeah, i'm basically so jumping he'll... off and moving as far as i can to the middle of the street to block the knoll so he'll take three points of um uh falling damage or bludgeoning damage um, are you just letting yourself flop off the side? Yeah, I'm gonna try to like roll with it because I'm trying to get to this. The okay, uh, yeah, give me give me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics, cool. Yeah, let's say oh. you have to be a. I rolled a ten. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you'll take <laughs> you'll take <laughs> three points. Three points of damage. Uh, Got it. Yeah, three points of bludgeoning damage from falling. Okay. Cool. And then yeah, whatever so movement I have left, I'm moving as far as I can. So, you... I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Just everything. Hey, I, don't, I don't think he can get by without getting through your through your attack range. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still there. Um, yes, so... He's going to do one of his other abilities that he hasn't used yet because he hasn't had room to. He's going to leap over. Attack of opportunity? Does not trigger. Yeah, as, it he, yeah. as he goes up onto his hind legs and pushes off over he's there and then he will use his 60 feet of movement trip him now this would trigger opportunity attack right uh yes okay so so i'm on the ground i do the shallow monk thing where i i bounce off the ground and i whip my chain underneath me <laughs> yep yep and i roll this with disadvantage jesus this sucks okay let's see Come on. Come first on. Roll, oh, first roll's an 18 on the die. Here's the second one. Come on. And a 19 on the die. <laughs> you get him. Ah. Oh, my God. Sentinel, baby. Sentinel. Uh, 12 damage, so I just do six. And he stays right there. Oh, my God. But I'm laid out, like, in front of him on the ground. <laughs> 
Oh wait, I have movement. I can get up. Yeah, yeah. I get up 15 feet. But it's not your turn yet. Oh, oh it's not my turn. Oh no, I'm laid down the ground. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. You'll get up before it's next. Well, I don't know. Never mind. No, I don't. Wait. Um. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and lay into you. He doesn't get his bonus action attacks, but he does have his glaive attacks, and they are an advantage. Oh shit. Oh my god. We're gonna go lost. I'm so stressed out right now, you guys. <laughs> I've so got a nine, health. Huh? 19 for the first one. Yeah, that hits. Natural 19. Yep, natural 19 plus everything. Okay. Both of the glaive attacks hit. Eleven points okay. and thirteen points. I have exactly twenty-four hit points. <laughs> I have twenty-four on DD D and D Beyond, so I'm at zero. Shit. Okay. He looks down at the body that wrapped the chain around and stopped him for the third time. <laughs> this fight and he just lifts his glaive drives it down into the body of lost and then just says leave this world and twists it as you watch uh lost body just kind of <laughs> snap to the side in a um very unnatural way he <laughs> lifts it out and starts to move again. Oh, Adeline, it is your turn. <gasps> He's right there. He didn't go that far. No. But he makes sure to look at all of you as he does uh, pull the glaive back out of uh, Lost limp body before starting to move off. Okay. I'm quickening a spell. Uh, I need an intelligence saving throw, please. Oh, I thought you were out of spell slots. I can use my sorcerer points. To regain them? And this is a cantrip. Nice. Okay. But I'm quickening this to my bonus name? action. Yeah, intelligence. Oh, shoot. Sorry. That's a five. Great. So right now you're just going to take four points of damage, and then you're going to. Did you take four? One. Yes. He has four hit points left. How do you want to do that? <laughs> yep, that's you. Mind sliver, as like our eyes lock and just like black ichor just like steeps from her nose as she's just like concentrating and just like he just feels his mind absolutely throb within his own head and just like like condense and just ooze out of everywhere it can ooze so as he twists the glaive into Lost's body, removing it, looking up and smiling, all of the wounds across his back. His eyes meet with Adeline's who wash over with that cosmic look once more. And you watch as his eyes go entirely black. So black that there's no reflection in them anymore. It's just absorbing every point of light like a black hole, a black hole within his skull. And he watches these dents start to appear in his skull as it cracks <laughs> in from different angles as the bones start to break and compact into this ever-growing gravity pool within his skull until eventually <laughs> it, it racks into this tiny shred of what it was and he falls forward onto Lost. 
Oh, it's in the middle. <laughs> I... Whose turn is it? Um, is that one? Still that was my bonus action. Um... I do still have a first level spell slot, but I'm Didn't trying to spend a cantrip. Yeah, can I? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the traditional way. Um, and then I was. Yeah, that's what or, I, thought, I had this all planned out, um, but I don't need the second one now. <laughs> um, but I will go ahead. That knoll that's still lurking around. Yep. It's I will use my last two. Sorcerer points in place of the spell slot to cast Tasha's Mind Whip. I need an intelligence saving throw. Can you use sorcery points at will? It's an action to use them. Oh, but I use... Well, no. No, I don't think... So. Because if I use them, that doesn't take my action to quicken a spell. That's just my bonus action. I can still use an action to... Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure. Let me make sure that I'm doing my conversion right, because I think it's like spell for spell. Yeah, I can do psionic spells. Like I can just replace them with the same amount of sorcery points. So, cool. okay. Intelligent saving throw, please. Six. Boom. Okay. So. 3d6 and then all the classic stuff that comes with this beautiful spell uh that's 12 points of damage and you can only move use an action or bonus action on your next turn nice um and then i have no way of getting off this roof without rolling an ankle i don't, yep that's the end of my turn <laughs> Uh, it is the Knoll's turn. Um, he's not taking any chances. He's gonna jump off. He, yeah, he makes the acrobatics, so he doesn't take any damage when he drops. So that's kind of free movement after the five feet to get off. And then he's gonna take off down the alley. We should let him go. Warn the others that there's danger in town and that we're not to be trifled with. It is the zombies turn. <laughs> <laughs> but this one we should fuck up. <laughs> He's gonna make one more slam attack <laughs> against Kaya. A natural five. That's that's not gonna work. It's not gonna do it today. Yeah. So just more like, <laughs> like oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I was dead. I'm already on overtime. <laughs> um. So yep. That uh, Kaya. All right. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Turn around. I'm gonna reverse grip my my rapier and just swing around to my right, and so it's coming around. And I'm gonna take my rapier and stab into him. Or I'm gonna try. Okay. That's uh, 20, 30, 20. That'll hit. Um, seven plus five, 12. 12 points of piercing damage. That'll do, Pig. <laughs> as 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 I as I pull it out, I mean, as I, as I as I make that reverse grip stab and pull out the the rapier, uh, and he just kind of falls to the ground, I'm gonna immediately use my movement and run over to um, Roz. Okay. Um, we are out of combat. Then I am going that was a tough one. <laughs> but 
I'd say Rose easily um, being a uh, grave cleric, having the perception that you do, you hear footfalls dragging across the ground. You hear the familiar sound the of more undead coming in on this area. I will. What do you got? I am going to, I'm just gonna assume, are there barrels underneath the edge of this roof too? Or is it just? Sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't I put any to... there because I can't see them, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. sure. I, I would jump down to a barrel and then down to the ground. Okay, yeah. Um, I will say to everyone, um, Bye, Adeline. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> well, hopefully she'll do what I did. Um, Catch me! <laughs> um, armies of undead are on their way here. And I sprint over to Lost and I reach into my bag and I grab out a diamond and I slam it down on his chest because I can see, no one else can see, but I can see that there are still, what? He wasn't dead. I was oh. at zero. Oh, but oh, I but thought like, that when I, the guy I, I, yeah, hit you. Yeah, he just got like hit at- Oh I yeah, I just made it really bad because they were fighting so I know totally so molly mocked. Let's, let's just say it. Like, <laughs> I thought that's what happened. <laughs> no, I, 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 the way it was described, I thought he was like, that, that he had, that was a critical, automatic I, critical I, I death agree. save. I, because, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the way I thought, yeah. You, <laughs> no, the second, the second blow took him unconscious. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, he literally did 24 that. points of damage and I had 24 hit points. Oh. Okay. Okay. Two, zero. Yeah. I was wondering why you weren't as stressed out as the rest of us. Oh. So no, I because will... I'm going to the big gentleman's club in the sky. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I will you going to you going to that. the Raven's Nest? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the Raven's Nest. I will retcon that for a cure wounds then, but I still run okay. over there okay. and do it. Um, and yeah. I will Don't do. Oh, he gets he's down, so he gets um. Max. It? Eight times three is twenty. He gets 29 hit points back immediately. 29, wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, so you feel that consciousness kind of shocked. It's not like a gentle kind of coming to. This is like a lot of your um, like life uh, energy is returned to you as you're violently <gasps> brought back. And I would like to flavor that, like, Rose can see gold threads that still come from him, like, that are leading out. Like, she knows that he still has a path to follow, so she goes and she brings him back to this world. In my head, I'm, like, on the way to the Gentleman Club, and I see, I see Rose battling with the Raven Queen. I see Rose battling with the Raven Queen to to pull to to retrieve my soul. Yes. So, in your vision, you watch as you are headed towards the Gentleman's Club in the sky, as the form of the Raven Queen emerges from the ground in front and doesn't reach out her hand. She just waits, watching, as these threads of gold wrap around your wrists, your legs, your waist, and you are drawn back away from her. He watches the porcelain masked face just cocks to one side. You just hear the word, hmm, curious as you <laughs> come back. Hi. I just take this deep breath. I'm like, <gasps> I'm VIP. <laughs> you 
okay? No. Oh. You want me to help you get out from underneath this big guy here? Yeah, there's like a... Oh, that's a big dog on me. Half a ton hyena, like lying on you. I, 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 I'll just, I'll just be. I, I'm pretty dis, uh, dis, uh, dismayed uh, because that was a pretty glorious death, and I would have been okay with it as, as my shot guy. The glaive, uh, well, the glaive would not still be in him, right? If I just no, he him? withdrew it. He withdrew it. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just say, I was like, well, y you could take his weapon, and that would still be glorious. <sighs> I, just saw, I just saw Brent. No, I just saw Brent in chat. Wait, this, no, you know what happens? When you die, everything resets, right? So all the debts are gone. You weren't completely right? dead. It's fine. Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how the IRS works. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not. Uh, I just I just roll over, and and I ask somebody, does anybody have any anything to drink? You do. So just to remind everyone, the undead are closing oh, in we have on to move. area. <clears throat> we we have to move. We have to get out of here. Yeah, and, just a okay. second, Adeline's like, and, <laughs> like towing like the side of the wall. <laughs> I'll look, now that I know that looking for a barrel, like <laughs> now that just I know that look. Lost is okay, I'll go over. I don't know how high these roofs are. I, I assume they're not crazy high. If I was able to jump to a barrel and get down, yeah, not these areas. It, it's it's like between ten and fifteen feet. I'm gonna do that like <laughs> awkward thing where I, like put my hands around her knees and like let her just kind of ease back down. <laughs> Like, I got gotcha. you. But we'll both probably as, fall on the ground. <laughs> as Kaya is is kneel down over over Roz, he just like he's crying in anguish. And he just all of a sudden you see Kaya's wings just like form out and he just picks up Roz's limp body and even if it's at half speed, he just holds him to his chest and just lifts off and starts flying to get away back to the you know back to the um forge okay I i'll we're not connected anymore right like because roz was the connection yeah it was, i will it, it only try to say well. to him because i know he's got a pretty high perception um don't draw attention to the forge. Also, I could probably heal him if you bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. P.S. I can heal people. Okay. Hmm. What are the rest of you we, doing? We should get off the streets. Do we... How close are we to the hideout? You're not that far away from, the, from you're not that far away from the forge. I would assume I kind of see the way that he's going, and that's why I said that about the forge. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we start heading back that way. All right. Do I see any trace of Willy? You can make a perception check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. All you see, uh, as the wind kicks across, a couple of loose but perfectly formed raven feathers. So all round. I, knowing what she's told me about the Raven Queen and all these things and her mask and everything. Do I think that's what's happened? Like, it is, do I assume she's been taken away from here? Like, is that? You you were able to see, you were on the roof facing opposite. I you saw. saw what happened. Yeah. It wouldn't be a huge stretch for you to put 
Raven's feathers and Raven's queen to get a uh, Raven queen to get. Right. I'm gonna divine thing and get a spell slot back, and okay. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast sending to her. Lily, are you alive? Are you okay? going to the forge to hide. There is an army of undead. As you go to emit that sending spell, Fuck, the, the magic doesn't go anywhere. I think I would forget in that moment, too, because I want to know where my sister is. That's fair, yeah. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, sneaking, stealthily going back to the forge, right? Yeah. Help lost heading, down, heading down the alley and trying to get back to the forge. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone being stealthy can make stealth checks. Yo. Super stealthy. 17. 23. 22! Okay. I rolled at disadvantage um, since I'm carrying lost, and oh. I still and I still got a 21. How are you stealth flying through the air? Just you know, I'm I'm staying like Just keeping low to the buildings, like yeah. to the rooftops. Yeah. Not like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, um. I have Kronk in my head from um, the Emperor's New Group. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. <laughs> 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 yes, so you all manage to get off of the main street um, without being seen that you know of. You head back to the forge. Uh, Kyra is already there, kind of landing and taking uh, the uh, Rhapsody inside. Uh, everyone else heads inside Dina's forge where she and the two tabaxi are as you lay Rhapsody on the floor. Everyone looks stunned and dismayed. And that's where we're going to end tonight. Mm. Oh. oh boy! What a tough little fight that was. <laughs> yep. That was tough. But also, he almost got fun. away. He almost got away three times. Resilient we are. Uh, they're just clutch movements, guys. Um, that you know the big the big thing was casting um, hunger of Hadar at the beginning. That hard the battlefield. Smart. Yeah, and he needed room to really use a lot of his like, abilities and things because he's so big. Um, so that, I don't know if that was the intention behind it or whether it was just to hit like as many things as possible, but it worked out in your favor so well. Um, and then some some clutch decisions um, between uh, like the, the um, keep forgetting the name of it, Sentinel, Bring Sentinel three times. Three <laughs> times. Three times. And I wasn't doing any damage, but I was like was fucking massive though. The Vortex Warp was massive. That was that yeah. shifted the fight. That shifted it. Like That's the first uh, time I've done it against like an unwilling like enemy creature. Yeah. Yeah. Um holy crap. And just just to prove. <laughs> Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> oh. Hit points? There you go. That's impossible. <laughs> he had 300 hit <gasps> points to start. He ended on 296. It was literally four. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. That was perfect. 
And that was like, ha cause that was just the cam trip. And I was like, had this whole like, one, two, and that's so. Yeah. Hey, thank you everyone for sticking with us through this huge fight that spanned this full, this, <laughs> this full episode and half the other one. Um, oof, yes, we will not be uh, playing Legends this month while uh, Diane is away, but we will have some fun community streams that we're going to do, um, some game show nights, we're going to do some uh, some hangouts, we might do another, um, uh, what's the word, uh, what, what did we do, we, we, we did homebrew build a, create. Yeah, build mm. a homebrew. Yeah, that, that, that everyone seems to enjoy that. So we might do another build a homebrew. Um, so yes, we're gonna find someone to raid, but we raid will be back. Dorky. We will be back. We will be back next Friday <laughs> for Fables of Galia. Um, who are we looking to raid? We're gonna raid the Dork Tales. Dork Tales. Ooh. Wait, aren't you gonna? Is there is there a role for a gifter? No. Nope. No. Nope. Didn't hit no. the sub nope. goal. Ooh, okay, nope. close. Um, so stick around for the, um, oh, thanks, Hoss. Uh, stick around for the, um, uh, uh, the raid, because you will get bonus channel points, which you can turn into flex points. Um, so throw down some emojis, uh, some raid emojis when we hit dog tails. Um, yes, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be back. Um, Thank you for watching The Fables of Galia. This is the correct way to start your week and off. We are out. Deuces. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you, everybody. Take care.